It's me glasses day. I don't normally wear my glasses on camera, but I just got these today and I love them. They are a little bit different to my old glasses. They're a little bit more fun, a little bit less um, teachery. Anyway, um, we are at February half term. When we go back after um, the holidays, things are really, really gonna kick in for the year 11. So what does that mean for you guys when we're in year nine, when we're in year 10? It means you might be feeling a tiny bit neglected after um, the holidays. Only until kind of like the year 11s, year 13s leave, and then everything is gonna be all about you again. But the teachers at the moment, the year 11s, all of your teachers, the form teachers, even your form teachers, they have year 11 classes, are going to be super, super focused on the year 11s and the year 13s. And this shouldn't upset you because soon you will be in year 11 and soon they'll be super, super focused on you. So for the moment, just kind of like appreciate the fact that maybe your teachers are going to... Gonna, maybe let things slide just a tiny bit because they're so super super focused on the year 11s but that doesn't mean that you can let things slide because if you look at those year 11s they look pretty stressed at the moment don't they yeah if you've got older brothers or sisters who are in year 11 or who have been through year 11 or cousins or friends or your friends older brothers or sisters you'll know that they are really 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 stressed and I'm going to tell you, start advising for your GCSEs now. Yeah. Even if it's like half an hour a week. Not like much. Like, make flashcards for French. That counts as revision. Flashcards that you can use when you get to year 11. You know, make flashcards for physics. Or if you don't want to make your own flashcards for physics, look, I've made them for you. But when we get to kind of like June time, all the year 11s will say, Miss, I wish I'd listened to you in year 10 when you told me to start revising. And I'm kind of like, yeah, but they never do. No one ever, no year 10, year 9 ever listens to me when I tell them to start revising now. Um, because it seems like absolutely ages away. But the more you do now, the longer it has time to sink in. The more times you repeat it, if you repeat it now, do one topic half an hour now, then do one topic half an hour in September when you're in year 11, and then one topic half an hour in February when you're in year 11, um, you'll have done it three times, as opposed to trying to fit that hour and a half worth of revision into May of year 11. So please just start to think about the future. Um, please start to think about what you can be doing now to make your life easier in year 11. And I'm not talking about like sitting down and spending hours and hours and hours and hours of revision because that's not good for you, I don't even tell the year 11s to do that. And you'll probably forget it all by then. I'm just going to make sure you're keeping up on top of things so if you miss a lesson, catch up the work. Because for science especially, if you miss a required practical, well that's it, you've missed it. And required practical is 15% of your exams so you're going to need to um, catch up that lesson we don't have time in class to go over things more than once if there's something you don't understand try and understand it now because if you think oh i'll do that in year 11 i'll do that when i come to revise the list of things you'll be doing when you come to revise is really really long so the shorter we can make that list the more stuff we can do now the better and then while you're revising thinking about the future you've got your year nine your ten your end of year exams coming up which are probably going to determine which set you're in for the next year and it's especially important for year tens because it's going to determine which group you're in for year 11. now if you want to be going for those top grades if you want to be getting those sevens eights and nines you're going to want to be in the top set there's no way you can be in the top set if you don't revise your year 10 content you have to do some work now now being in the top set isn't always the best thing for you it's going to be working faster it's going to be more stressful there's going to be more stuff to do so maybe the best set for you is going to be the middle set so when the sets come out at the end of year don't like get too upset just trust your teachers that they know what they're doing so the theme for from now until the end of term well until the year 11s have left basically is look at the year 11s take inspiration from how stressed they are and let's do everything we can do now to avoid you being that stressed in one or two years time